Saint Apollonia, who was of Greek descent, was born around 200 AD from a pagan magistrate of Alexandria, Egypt. Despite this, Saint Apollonia herself was a devout Christian. She was esteemed for her chastity, devotion, and charity. It is likely, according to one account, that she was a deaconess, a ministry that the ancient Catholic Church had for women who were chosen for duties similar to a deacon. A deaconess was not the same as a deacon because it was a non-ordained ministry. Thus, she was a devout Catholic amidst an empire of people who worshipped Roman idols. In the year 249 AD, during the reign of the Roman Emperor Philip the Arabian, Rome was celebrating its millennium of existence since its supposed founding in 753 BC by Romulus and Remus. Christian persecution was common during that time, but it peaked due to Roman patriotism fueled by uncertainty of their empire's future and the predicting of disaster at the hands of Christians by a popular Roman poet. A local uprising grew in Alexandria, and many Christians found themselves running for their lives. St. Apollonia didn't flee, and she became one of the many martyrs caught in Alexandria. As recorded by St. Dionysus, not long after St. Apollonia's death, she was overtaken by the crowd and beaten. Her teeth were knocked out or violently ripped out. Then her tormentors lit a large fire and they demanded that she say something against her God or be thrown in the flames. In response, St. Apollonia asked her persecutors to wait a moment, as if considering their demands. But with that moment, she jumped into the flames and died. St. Augustine, a doctor of the Catholic Church, pointed out that St. Apollonia's voluntary jump into the fire was a special inspiration from the Holy Spirit, being that it is a sin to kill oneself. St. Apollonia was canonized a saint in 300 AD, and her feast day is February 9th. She is the patroness of dentistry, though suffering from toothaches or dental diseases, those with braces, and even individuals who find going to the dentist particularly frightening. St. Apollonia is often depicted with pincers holding a tooth and or with a palm leaf. In some pieces of art, St. Apollonia looks young, but she was actually about 49 years old, which was considered old for her time period. Besides being a model of courage, St. Apollonia is a model for chastity, as she was able to remain a virgin for that many years. Even though remaining virgin until marriage was an ancient Roman ideal that was rarely followed. Paintings, writings, churches, statues, etc. of different time periods have been made or named in her honor, and her relics rest in several parts of the world. Of course, many places of dental profession or schooling lace their facilities with images and prayers to St. Apollonia. One example is of her image supporting a side of the crest of arms of the British Dental Association, along with St. Damien.
Said to be St. Apollonius II, this relic is safeguarded in the Cathedral of Porto in Portugal. <laughs>